in this presentation we will discuss daily value added tax second amendment rules 2014 let's firstly take a view on the highlights of amendment Amendment of Rule 57A. Every memorandum of appeal shall be accompanied by a fee prescribed in an extra one of these two. Now it's rupees hundred. Earlier it was rupees fifty. Amendment of an extra one of prescribed fees. Amendment of form D V sixteen daily value added tax return. Amendment in form D V seventeen composition tax return form under daily value added tax act two thousand four. Amendment in form D V forty eight form of quarterly return by the contract. Now let's discuss daily value added tax second amendment rule 2014 in detail. Short title and commencement. These rules may be called the Daily Value Added Tax Second Amendment Rule 2014. They shall come into force on the date of their publication in the Daily Gazette. Amendment of Rule 57A. In the principal rules in Rule 57A for sub rule second, the following shall be substituted, namely, every memorandum of appeal shall be accompanied by a fee prescribed in an extra one of these rules. Amendment of an extra one in the principal rules for an extra one appended there to the following shall be substituted, namely. Application for registration prescribed fee is rupees one thousand. Manner of payment fee to be paid in the manner prescribed in Rule Thirty One. Request for duplicate of certificate of registration fee rupees two hundred. Inspection of document fee is rupees two hundred. Making copy of document in the commissioner position per page rupees hundred. Submitting an objection or appeal rupees hundred. Any other application rupees hundred. Application for determination of specific question under Section 84, rupees 100. Application for enrollment as valuary tax practitioner, rupees 10,000. Amendment of Form D V sixteen. In principal rules, in Form D V sixteen, after R two point four, the following shall be inserted regarding time.
after block R11, the following shall be inserted namely R11 1 tax payable due to tax deficiency admitted and declared during the course of proceeding under section 60. R11 2 details of amount deposit with respect to R11 1. See, after an extra 2A, the following shall be inserted namely. Format of an extra 2A1. Summary of purchases as recorded in DVAT 30. Interstate purchase or stock transfer or import not eligible for credit of input tax. Interstate purchase or stock transfer or import not eligible for credit of input tax. Local purchases not eligible for credit of input tax. Local purchase is not eligible for credit of input tax. Local purchase is eligible for credit of input tax. Data in respect of unregistered dealers may be consolidated tax rate wise for each quarter. Will include purchases of DEPB for self consumption consumable goods and raw material used for manufacturing of tax free goods in column number 21. After instruction number 7, the following shall be inserted namely H. Provided details of amount deposit consequent to proceedings under section 60 to seek remission of penalty 
under subsection 6 of section 87 of the Act or even otherwise in block R11-1 and block R11-2. Nine, provided details of good purchase and reporting an extra two way during preceding tax period but received during the current period in an extra two way one. The format of an extra two way one shall be similar to an extra two way. If you have uploaded invoice wise detail of purchase in extra two way, then such uploading is not necessary provided the corresponding sellers have also uploaded invoice wise same detail of transactions. Amendment in Form D-17 In principal rules in Form D-17, the following shall be inserted namely. B. After block R9, the following shall be inserted namely R91 tax payable due to tax deficiency admitted and declared during the course of proceedings under section 16. R92 amount deposit with respect to R91. In part B, after row 2.4, the following shall be inserted regarding that. After block R9, the following shall be inserted, namely R91 tax payable due to tax deficiency admitted and declared during the course of proceeding under section 16. R92 amount deposit with respect to R91. 3. After an extra 2A, the following shall be inserted namely. An extra 2A1 regarding summary of purchase or inward branch transfer made during the preceding tax period but received during the current period out of the purchases mentioned in an extra 2A. Summary of purchases as recorded in DVAT 30. Turnover Turnover of purchases in date. Note: Date in respect of unregistered dealer may be consolidated x-wise for each quarter.
interstates, purchase or stock transfer. For after in section number 5, the following shall be inserted namely, sets provide details of amount deposit consumed to proceeding under section 60 to seek revision of penalty under, sub, under subsection 6 of section 87 of the Act or even otherwise in block R91 and block R92 in both parts of the return. Seven, provide detail of good purchase and reported an extra to it during preceding tax period but received during the current tax period in an extra to a one. The format of an extra 2A1 shall be similar to an extra 2 If you have uploaded invoice detail of purchase in extra 2A, then such uploading is not necessary, provided the corresponding seller have also uploaded invoice with same details of transaction. Amendment in Form DVAT 48. In Form DVAT 48, after serial number 3, the following shall be inserted regarding 10. is useful for you. Your feedback and comments are valuable for us. You can contact us through mail, phone or through comment on YouTube. Thanks.